regard to the question, should we boycott Hajj and Umrah in order to boycott all the resources that support MBS in Saudi Arabia, which is right now supporting Israel in many ways? Number one, when we want to answer such questions, we look through the lens of Quran and Sunnah and not emotions. Number two, when we look at Hajj and Umrah, there's a difference between the first Hajj and the second Hajj, or even a third. Umrah is definitely a Sunnah, but it's important to understand that the first Hajj, that is the person's first Hajj, is based on two things. <clears throat> having the physical ability and having the financial ability. So if the person has these two, then it becomes obligatory on them to go to Hajj for the first time. Now, when we look at the first Hajj, it takes the totally different ruling than a second Hajj. The second Hajj would actually be Sunnah and not obligatory. The first Hajj is obligatory. Then therefore, to set some kind of an idea that we need to boycott even the first Hajj and think of it as a secondary thing and not a primary thing, what does that mean? So what that means is that when you want to boycott, you don't boycott something that is a primary source for your existence. So if, for example, your enemy was providing you with probably oil or providing you with water, you're not going to say, I'm going to boycott these in order to survive. You're going to, uh, in order to stop, sorry, uh, to stop the enemy from uh, somehow having more power because you know that water is important for your survival and you know that oil is important for you to continue doing different things but you will probably have to work on finding another resource or another alternative to get these uh, these uh, important supplies whether we're talking about oil and water as an example <clears throat> Unfortunately, most people think of Hajj, at least the first Hajj, as a secondary thing. Hajj is not a secondary thing. Hajj is part of the pillars of Islam. For the first Hajj, مَا لَا يَتِمُ الْوَاجِبِ إِلَّا بِهِ فَهُوَ وَاجِبِ what is obligatory is obligatory to do. What is obligatory to do all the resources that lead to it are obligatory to get to and therefore cannot be stopped. Now, that would totally be different if we were talking about the second Hajj. Now, when we look at the the um, the premise that while well, all that money is going for supporting Saudi Arabia to kill the Muslims, you want to remember that the Prophet ﷺ attempted to go for Umrah and literally took uh, the, the, the sheep and uh, along with the Sahaba and were actually going for Umrah. Now, Quraysh was dependent on Hajj and Umrah for their existence and for their economical survival and economic prosperity. Yet, the Prophet ﷺ, even though Mecca at the time was under non-Muslim slash Quraysh rule, that didn't stop him from going for Hajj or Umrah uh, because it was under non-Muslim rule, even though he was aware that that money was going to be generated against him. But he still went for Hajj in Umrah, or at least attempted, and that money later was probably and most likely also used against Muslims but there are certain things, like we said, are primary and not secondary that you cannot boycott and say, well, I want to end this one. 
number three point is that when we speak about Hajj and Umrah, the amount of money that that Hajj and Umrah generate, if we're talking about a primary, we're talking about one Hajj, the amount of money that it generates really goes for the Hajj services. The real revenue that MBS is getting is really now coming from the oil and two right now coming from the luxury or slash the tourism that is happening not the religious tourism but the tourism for the music festivals and all of that that's right now becoming a major uh, a major economic pro uh, source for mbs now most people would think of hajj in the Umrah, if we're talking about uh, religion, most people would think of it as a secondary thing. It is a primary thing that you cannot boycott if we're doing the first and, and, and the, the first Hajj. But if we're doing the second, if we're doing a second Umrah and so forth, then in that situation, I would tell you, don't go and use that money for something that will generate more help for the Ummah's Deen. Assalamu alaikum.